like to welcome you all here this evening. Uh, we're just a couple of minutes away from beginning our meeting. Before we begin the meeting, I'd invite you to stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, and then Amelia Williams will bring the invocation. Lord, I pray for the protection of all the people of Springdale. I pray for those suffering and give you thanks for the beauty that you have given us in every moment of today. I pray that our community work together for the common good and that you help us, the council, seek your wisdom as we make decisions on behalf of our residents. Lord, help the city to continue to prosper and provide an abundance of services and opportunities to all of our residents. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, I'd like to again welcome you to tonight's regular meeting of Springdale City Council. This is Tuesday, October 10th, 2023, and we'll begin the festivities by asking our city clerk to call the roll. Mayor Sprouse. Here. <clears throat> Brian Powell. Here. Amelia Williams. Here. Jeff Watson. Here. Mike Overton. Here. Mike Lawson. Here. Rex Bailey. Here. Randall Harriman. Here. Mark Fujiris. Here. Ernest K. Here. All right, thank you. Great to have everybody here this this week. Uh, summer's over, I guess, and we're all all able to be here. That's great. Uh, so we do have a, a full council. Uh, obviously, we have a quorum. We're at item four on the agenda. If there was anyone that would like to address the council concerning an item that is not already on tonight's agenda, the council sets aside this time each meeting for public comments. If you, had, if you would like to make public comments, we ask that you come to the podium, clearly state your name and address, and please keep your comments brief, understanding that the council won't take action on anything you bring forward tonight. Is there anyone that would like to address the council concerning an item that is not already on tonight's agenda? All right, seeing none, we'll move on to item five, and I'm gonna turn this over to our city attorney, Ernest Kate. Thank you. Council item uh, 12 on the agenda is an ordinance vacating a portion of utility easement on property located at 4042 Salisbury Street. As you know, the statute requires before you can act on the ordinance to conduct a public hearing on the petition. City clerk has published notice of the public hearing is required by statute. Is there anyone here that wishes to comment on this item? If not, we'll close the public hearing and we'll take it up when we get to item 12. All right, thank you. Moving on to item six, approval of minutes. <clears throat> Council, you've had an opportunity to look those over. If there are no changes or additions, I'd entertain a motion to approve them as presented. So moved. Second. Got a motion and a second to approve the minutes as presented. Uh, all those in favor, please say aye. aye. All opposed, same sign. All right, thank you. Item seven, procedural motions. What's your pleasure, Council? Move for A and B. Second. Okay, we have a motion a second for A and B. Roll call, please. Powell? Yes. Williams? Yes. Watson? Yes. Overton? Yes. Lawson? Yes, ma'am. Bailey? Yes. Harriman? Yes, ma'am. Fujiris? Yes. Carries 8 0. All right, thank you. And uh, item eight Planning Commission Report and Recommendations. Patsy Christie, Director of Planning and Community Development. Patsy? The first item is a replaying of a part of Tract 8 of Henson Heights, creating lots 8A and B. The Planning Commission reviewed this replat, recommends approval of the title of the ordinance, reads an ordinance accepting the replat of a part of Tract 8 of Henson Heights, creating lots 8A and 8B, Springdale, Washington County, Arkansas, and declaring an emergency. See, was there any observation? Uh, anybody opposed to this? There was some opposition at Planning Commission about replatting this. However, the proposed lot split or, or replat meets the minimum requirements of the zoning district that it's in. There were a few neighbors yeah. uh, opposing they it. They wanted kept as a nice they big lot. They wanted kept a big and, lot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what? What, how, what? Do you remember what the vote was? Was it unanimous or close I to I believe unanimous? it was. I don't know. I don't remember. Okay. I didn't. I, I'm sorry. I didn't look. There that might up. have been one or two dissensions yeah. on the commission. So but the, the proposed replat fits the minimum requirements and subdivision of land 
If they can meet the requirements, I'm not sure. So the minimum would. requirements for this zoning, uh -huh. the minimum requirements you're talking about is size of a lot? Right, right. And they meet the minimum size of the lot in the zoning classification that it's in. This is R2? Uh, SF2, yeah. SF2. Yeah, SF2. That, that's so far I'm reverting back <laughs> yeah. R2. You, you've gone back too far. We've had SF2 a long time now. But, uh, yes, yeah. but it does, SS2, SS2, It meets correct? all the minimum requirements for the zoning district that it's in. It has water and sewer, it has all of that, that meets that requirement. So it's not like a duplex or anything could be? No, it's single family only, that's all they can put on there. It meets the minimum requirements for that. And we don't have a standard for the size of the house it can be. All it has to meet is the minimum set, setbacks. And so that was the other question, what size house are we going to allow it to go on there? We don't have a minimum house size other than it's got to be. So your suggestion wide. is if it meets our minimum requirements, we almost have to do it. Well, I mean, you, gotta, you can get that from the city attorney. I don't know on what basis we could deny it. I mean, when the plat's presented, you, you approve the plat based right. upon what's presented. And, right. and this was not it, presented when the plat was, you know. Well, and it's true, but there's no covenants that keeps it from being replatted. We did look to see if there was any covenants that were on the subdivision, and that subdivision was done many, many years ago. If there were covenants filed, they may have expired. We couldn't find anything that restricted. Now, and, and we have always, we've always recognized covenants on the subdivision. If it didn't allow a minimum size lot of a certain size, we've always recognized that too, even though a minimum size would have met the zoning requirements. So we couldn't find anything on this one. Move the ordinance to pass. Got a motion and a uh, second to approve the ordinance. Any other questions or comments? Anyone in the room need to speak to this? Okay, Denise. Williams. Yes. Watson. Simply because I've seen us get burned on these before, um, I'm going to vote no. Overton? Yes. Lawson? Yes, ma'am. Bailey? Yes, ma'am. Perryman? Yes, ma'am. Kudrus? No. Powell? Yes. Carry 6 2 has an emergency clause. Move the emergency clause. Bid up. Second. Watson? Yes. Overton? Yes. Lawson? Yes. Bailey? Yes, ma'am. Harriman? Yes, ma'am. Pujarus? Yes. Powell? Yes. Williams? Yes. Emergency clause carries 8 0. And as the usual case, there are pending actions on this why there's an emergency clause. The next one is a replat of lot 6 and 7 of Casey Subdivision Phase 1 um, to the City of Springdale and declaring an emergency. This is combining two lots into one where they'll be building parking on the second lot. Planning Commission reviewed this request and recommends. Approval of the lot combination or the replat of these two lots. Move the ordinance be adopted. Second. second. We have a motion and a second to approve the ordinance. Any other questions or comments? Anyone in the room? Okay, Denise. Overton? Yes. Lawson? Yes, ma'am. Bailey? Perryman? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Powell? Yes. Williams? Yes. Watson? Yes. Move Mercy Clause be adopted. Yes, ma'am. Bailey? Perryman? Yes, ma'am. Pujarus? Yes. Powell? Yes. Williams? Yes. Watson? Yes. Overton? Yeah. About the ordinance emergency clause carry 8 0. All right, thank you. Uh, item 9, we're time for our finance committee report and recommendations. Chairwoman Amelia Williams. Amelia? Item 8A is an ordinance, or I'm sorry. Item 9A is a resolution to appropriate funds for computers, monitors, and other court-related technology for the Springdale District Court to be paid from the Court Automation Fund. Move the resolution be adopted. Second. Got a motion second to approve the resolution. Any other comments or questions? Anyone in the room? Okay, Denise. Bailey. Yes, ma'am. Harriman. Yes, ma'am. Fujerus. Yes. Powell. Yes. Williams. Yes. Watson. Yes. Overton. Yes. Lawson? Yes, ma'am. Carries 8 0. Item 9B is a resolution authorizing the expenditure of funds to acquire portions of land from the Harwell Family Trust 
for the Don Tyson Parkway project. Highway 112 to 56th Street, project number 23 BPS2. Move the resolution be adopted. Second. Okay, thank you. We've got a motion and a second to approve the resolution. Any other questions or comments from anybody? Anybody in the room? Okay, roll call. Harriman? Yes, ma'am. Digeris? Yes. Powell? Yes. Williams? Yes. Watson? Yes. Overton? Yes. Lawson? Yes, ma'am. Bailey? Yes, ma'am. Carries 8 0. Item 9C is a resolution authorizing the execution of a contract for the architect for architect service services presented by Colby Fulfer, Chief of Staff. Thank you. As we discussed at committee, this is a resolution uh, entering into or authorizing execution of a contract for architect services. This is for the gun range that we purchased uh, back in 2020. We purchased uh, 5.2 acres for $600,000 with the intent of going through and remodeling that, especially for uh, long-range uh, training so this is just for the architectural work on that item Move the resolution pass second we have a motion and a second to approve the resolution any other comments or questions anyone okay denise yes Powell? yes williams yes watson yes. overton yes lawson yes ma'am bailey yes ma'am harriman yes ma'am carries eight zero <clears throat> Item 9D is a resolution to enter into an agreement, appropriate funds, and to waive competitive bidding for the purchase of police vehicle and body camera equipment and related items, also presented by Colby Fulford. As we discussed at committee, uh, this is a resolution that does three things. It waives bidding, enters into an agreement, and appropriates funds uh, from our unrestricted general fund. Uh, we are going to be paying this out over 10 years. One of the reasons we're doing that is we have a substantial amount of grant funding that we're applying for with the Attorney General's office here in Arkansas. Uh, we do have $150,000 in grant funds that we do need to spend this year, and uh, we are out of warranty on our body cameras and car mounting cameras. Um, we have, a, I believe, Chief had said over 30 cameras that are currently not working. Um, and so this is the time for us to move forward on that. We're going to spend 150,000 of grant funds uh, that, that we have, and we're going to have to pair that with $118,000 out of our unrestricted general fund for the first year's payment. Second year's payment will be $267,000. And ongoing, minus any grants that we raise, our yearly payment that we will appropriate in every budget will be $536,000. Is this the same ones we discussed last time with the tasers included? It does, <clears throat> sorry, it does not include the tasers. It's a separate thing we already started uh, last year that the council approved. Move the resolution pass. Second. Motion and second to approve the resolution. Any other questions or comments? Okay. Anyone? Roll call, please. Howe? Yes. Williams? Yes. Watson? Yes. Overton? Yes. Lawson? Yes, ma'am. Bailey? Yes, ma'am. Perryman? Yes, ma'am. Fugerus? Yes. Carries 8 0. Items 9E and 9F were not presented at committee, and so Mayor Sprouts is going to take those items. Okay. Thank you, Amelia. Uh, item E. Uh, resolution authorizing the purchase of Christmas tree decorations for the Springdale Municipal Campus. Uh, I did get to bring this up at committee. We're sort of working on a tight timeline if we would like to get these in. Um, we'd like to have them in time to get, hopefully, the decorations in and the tree decorated before the Christmas parade. We're thinking about, if everything can come together, we're thinking about uh, having a Christmas open house downtown a lot of people haven't seen the building we could give tours of the building we could you know and and uh, if, if we could do it in time it's not all coordinated yet but we could do it the same night as the parade on that Saturday evening and just invite people over if they want to to see see City Hall um, and and have kind of a Christmas open house the you'll see on your in your agenda three different prices this is a local company it's Treations. And you'll see three different prices, and after each price quote is a sort of an example, on, obviously on a much smaller tree, but it gives you an example of 
of what uh, what the decorations would be similar to. The colors wouldn't be the same or anything like that, but it would give you uh, an idea of how full the decorations would be. You've got the highest quote is uh, 25516 Now this all includes decorating, which we would be buying the the decorations, but we would have a fee to get it redecorated each year, but it wouldn't, it'd be much, much less than this because you're buying all the decorations this first year. The second one, the middle estimate is $19,069. This is a 22 foot tree that we're getting. We've already, we're already buying the tree. You've already approved that. The, separate from this. the tree is separate from this. This is the, this are the, the decorations. Now the tree is lighted that we've already bought. So this will just be to decorate it and the decorations for each year. So again, it's a 22 foot tree. Uh, it'll set in our lobby right under the, or beside the staircase. Um, and then the, the least expensive version is 15,824. So they're about $5,000 apart, 15, 20 or 25. And uh, I've got my personal preference, but y'all, look at those and see what you think. And if you want to bring one of those forward, we'll, we'll, um, we'll go whichever way you want to go, but we need to go tonight so that she can get the stuff ordered and get it, get it here in time to get it, get it decorated. I, I personally think the middle one, I feel like one of the three bears here, but I, I kind of feel like the middle one is the best option, not because it's the middle price, but because, uh, Personally, I just feel like the first one, it's almost too much and you can't even see the tree. So, uh, but I, so I like one of the two lesser options, but I really like the middle one best, but that's just me. So y'all give me some feedback. And if one of you wanna, if one of you wanna move forward with this and we can get a motion in a second, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and decide which way to go. I agree with the middle one. I think the, the last one is pretty, but I think adding some color, you can definitely use those, that as an accent throughout the building elsewhere, and it's not just kind of monotone. I'm gonna follow that recommendation because I am not a decorator. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't play one, um, but I, I do like I do like the middle one myself so we want a motion we're motion for number two I would entertain a motion. okay so that's an, a motion to approve um, 19,069 uh, for for that option cardboard cutouts not an option no well we can add some of those if you want to we can we can take your picture <laughs> and uh, we could color it green you could <laughs> Yeah. You're a one. <laughs> All right. Good deal. All right. We have a motion and a second. Are there any other comments or questions? All right. Roll call, please. Williams? Yes. Watson? Yes. Overton? Yes. Lawson? Yes, ma'am. Bailey? Yes, ma'am. Perryman? Yes, ma'am. Pujarus? Yes. Howe? Yes. Carries 8 0. Thank you all for doing that and, and Bearing with me on the quick timeline. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, Amelia, taking the lead on that. Thank you very much. There you go. <laughs> All right. Item F is, uh, this is another one that we discussed at the meeting. This was actually, uh, Councilman Watson brought this up a few weeks ago, and uh, Greg Taylor is here, and Greg has been, uh, Greg reached out. I asked Greg to reach out to the owner and uh, see what we could do. And what's before you there, uh, I, I gave you the information last Tuesday, or last Monday, I'm sorry, that the property was on the market, is on the market, and the asking price was 725, and uh, which back in 16, the list was in your agenda. The, back in 16, the list, it was listed for 1.2 million. So, uh, but now in negotiations with the property owner, Greg, we're at, 700 and uh, we could buy that 2.03 I think acres for 700,000 that's a lot per acre but it is a very strategic piece of property that I know 
we would like to control and protect our park and perhaps add some things to our park at some point or at least have the ability, ability to in the future. So that's what's before you. It would have the regular contingencies it would need to appraise, and it, but it, it's also obviously contingent, contingent upon your approval. Move the resolution be adopted. Second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Let me, let me read this to make sure I, I don't think I did. A resolution authorizing the purchase of property located at 3058 South 48th Street, Springdale, Washington County, Arkansas. Rex, was that your motion? Yes. It still stands. And we have a second. All right. Mayor, do we have a written appraisal yet? Or is it just contingent on a It's on contingent it? on the appraisal. Do we know when we might get that, Greg? Did Colby order it? Don't think it's been ordered yet. Okay, we'll get it ordered, and Amelia, we won't we won't move forward until it appraises. Yeah. And so we'll know when 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 it what the appraisal. Well, if you is if or? you uh, if you approve this, then we'll sign the contract, or we'll we'll move forward if it appraises. Yeah, we have we have a signed contract, but it's all contingent on appraising for that amount. Yeah. Good. So if it's under appraised, then it'll kick back to us. Right. It would come back if the if the if the owner still wanted to pursue selling it. Yeah. All right. Okay. We have a motion second. Are there any other questions? All right. Roll call, please. Watson. Yes. <clears throat> Overton. Yes. Lawson. Yes, ma'am. Bailey. Yes, ma'am. Perryman. Yes, ma'am. Pujarus. Yes, ma'am. Powell. Yes. Williams. Yes. Carries eight zero. Okay. Great. Thank you. Uh, we're at item 10, Ordinance Committee, Chairman Mike Overton. Mike? Uh, Mayor, we had one item come before the uh, council. It was uh, uh, recommended for approval uh, to the full council. It's an ordinance amending Chapter 122, Article 11 of the Code of Ordinances of the City of Springdale, Arkansas, declaring an emergency and for other purposes pertaining to taxi camps. Move the ordinance pass. Second. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the ordinance. Any other questions or comments, Council? Yes, the, uh, Mr. Watson asked a question at the ordinance committee meeting about the, uh, the rates, and I had a paper copy in my hand that I was referring to, and he came up to me after the meeting, and it, it was discovered that we had put the wrong version in the packet uh, the correct version is in the packet and it does uh, include the provisions that I mentioned at the ordinance committee we do have a motion and a second any other questions okay roll call please Overton yes Lawson yes ma'am Bailey yes ma'am Harriman yes ma'am yes Howell yes Williams yes Watson has emergency clause. Move emergency clause bid down. Second. Lawson? Yes, ma'am. Bailey? Yes, ma'am. Harriman? Yes, ma'am. Fujerus? Yes. Powell? Yes. Williams? Yes. Watson? Yes. Overton? Yes. About the ordinance emergency clause carry 8 0. Okay, thank you. Item 11 is Parks and Recreation Committee. Chairman Mike Lawson. Mike? Thank you, Mayor. We've got one item before us. I believe it's just to make a payment to Geo Services for the turf. I'll let Colby elaborate. I'll go ahead and read it. Uh, a resolution authorizing payment of an invoice for the 2023 bond project number 23BPP1. Any invoice over a million dollars has to have council approval. That's why we're bringing this one to you. Move the resolution be adopted. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the resolution. Any other questions or comments? Anyone? Okay, Denise? Bailey? Yes, ma'am. Raymond? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Powell? Yes. Williams? Yes. Watson? Yes. Overton? Yes. Lawson? Yes, ma'am. Carries 8 0. All right. And item 12, we'll turn over to, this, to Ernest. Thank you. Uh, this is an ordinance releasing, vacating, and abandoning a portion of utilities been located on property in Springdale, Benton County, Arkansas, declared an emergency for other purposes. This is the one I mentioned earlier, 4042 Salisbury Street. Move ordinance pass. Second. 
All right, we have a motion and a second to approve the ordinance. Are there any other comments or questions? Anyone in the room? Okay, Denise. Harriman. Yes, ma'am. Fujerus. Yes. Powell. Yes. Williams. Yes. Watson. Yes. Overton. Yes. Lawson. Yes, ma'am. Bailey. Yes, ma'am. New merge clause be done. Second. Fujerus. Yes. Powell. Yes. Williams. Yes. Watson. Yes. Overton. Yes. Lawson. Yes, ma'am. Bailey. Harriman. Yes, ma'am. Throughout the ordinance, emergency clause carry eight zero. All right, thank you. Item 13, any comments from council? Members, not legal counsel. None? Now, legal counsel. City attorney? Just happy birthday, Mayor. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I don't have anything else. So moved. All right, we're adjourned. Thank you all very much. Have a great week.